Well, how did it happen? Uh, who saw it happen? We have some eyewitness reports. ABC's Bill Lord interviewed some people. First, a Dallas policeman, an eyewitness to the shooting. Uh, Jim Cheney. I understand that you were riding next to the president's car when the assassination took place. I was riding on the right rear fender of what happened. Well, we had proceeded west on uh, Elm Street uh, at approximately 15 to 20 miles an hour. When we heard the first shot, I thought it was a motorcycle backfiring. And uh, I looked back over to my left, and uh, also President Kennedy looked back over his left shoulder. Then the, uh, when the second shot came, I looked, uh, I looked back just in time to see the President struck in the face by the second bullet. He uh, flung forward into Miss Kennedy's lap. And uh, when it was apparent to me that we were being fired upon, uh, I uh, went ahead of the President's car Chief Curry that uh, the president had been hit, and then he uh, instructed us over there to take him to uh, Parkland Hospital, and, and he had Parkland Hospital stand by. And I went on up ahead of the, uh, notify the officers that were leading the escort that he had been hit and was going to have to move up. You did not see the person who fired the shot? No, sir. It was back over my right shoulder. What preventive measures had been taken? preclude such an incident. I, I don't know what I've done. I've done that part of All right, fine. Thank you. Let's go. This patrolman was uh, so close to the president that following the uh, three shots, uh, his uh, uniform was splattered with blood.